Well, the area near the newly installed sculpture in downtown Baton Rouge is now clean after being vandalized yesterday. Now, we first told you about this story yesterday. Now we know the man responsible has been arrested. And as Fox 44's Kennedy Walker explains, it's not just his first time behind bars. Something like this is not meant to be vandalized. Less than one week after the rotary sculpture was unveiled in downtown Baton Rouge, this happened. To me, that's a tragedy. Black graffiti was sprayed on the concrete behind the sculpture. It took away from the focus of this beautiful piece of art. Officials say 22-year-old Caleb Davis confessed to the crime. He has been charged with simple criminal damage to property. This is a, uh, a one-of-a-kind commission piece of art. And, you know, it's very, very special for a city like this, like Baton Rouge, to have something like this. And this isn't Davis's first run in with the law. Earlier this year, he was arrested after he destroyed graves of the Sweet Olive Cemetery and stole remains of the deceased. On Thursday, the graffiti was quickly removed. The director of downtown development says now that it's gone, the city is making arrangements so that it never happens again. Uh, certainly a video monitoring of the uh, sculpture from both sides. Kennedy Walker, Fox 44 News. Roro says he doesn't have an exact date on when those cameras will be installed, but says it will be very soon. Meanwhile, BRPD says a tip from Crime Stoppers led to that arrest.